Hey everybody, welcome back to Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror, and we just uh, freed George from, you know, Titi Poco's bothering him now, but we just, uh, Nico and Titi Poco here just saved uh, George from being sacrificed to un to awaken the evil god, and we have the, f the three stones, three or four, three I think, stones that we need to have in order to stop it. the him being freed from the mirror so uh looks like this is probably going to be the finale i don't know how long it's going to be but i think there's just a couple puzzles in the temple and um then we'll be finished up here so let's check it out see what the finale has in store i guess we're still in control of nico oof the lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway Big oof. Heave! Still no good. That was realistic. Heave! Georges? Yeah? Georges, I can only pull one lever at a time, and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. Well, it worked. Being deeper in the pyramids probably better Raul, than being out there. there's something suspicious. Go this sacrifice! Where is it? Nico was here with Titi Poco. They set him free. I, I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Titi Poco's gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this sun is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease Testatlipoca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so, and I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? The eclipse is Shame happening. it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you and Karzak with that devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice show. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! This Catlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. So, you remember when I said there'd be a puzzle? Tiles and dials. Alright, let's see here. The dial didn't want to move. The dial didn't move at all. There was a statue of a monkey. Some sort of religious significance? The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. Okay, so from what I can gather, each of these four tiles are made up of three of these. Or maybe just two. It looks like it's this one. There were several tiles and with glyphs on them. To make that one. This one. And that one. Wait. It have to be more than two. This one. That one. No, this one. 
this one and this one. Okay, it's starting to seed. This one. I think I'm starting to get it. So let's try to do the plant and this one. Is that possible? Wait, it's already on the plant one. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. The tile moved slightly. Okay. The tile didn't move at all. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. It's the blank one with that. Okay. So let's get that lined up. I should only need one more turn on this one. This is going to take a minute. One more. One more. Okay. Now I should be able to on this one on this side. Okay, and now what about this? Aha! Uh -huh. The tile moved inwards and clicked home. Alright, we're getting somewhere. That's good. So I need the flower. Thing. Okay. <coughs> it undid one. Now I need this one. The cave with the arc over it and the crest toothpaste. with the arc over it. And there's 
the toothpaste. I guess it's more like Aquafresh toothpaste. Not to give them free advertising or anything. The tile didn't move at all. What? The tile didn't move at all. Those are both pushed in. The tile didn't move at The tile didn't want to move. Hmm, that's bizarre. That is right, right? It's this one and this one. Do I have to do them in a certain order? The tile didn't... Alright, let's focus on another one. Might, not, might need to be in a certain order. So let's do the X. Oh, this is going to take a minute. Okay. Again, this is also going to take a while. This one. Uh, Not this one. This one. Okay. Okay. Now I need the three circles and the cave with the thing around. Okay, this one is the next one. So, to go back and do what I just did all over again. Oh, we can do it from this side, huh? Flower. 
that is wrong. Because it has the green in the middle. Where's that green coming from? So yeah, this isn't right. Guess it was my fault originally. Dang it. <clears throat> That's what I was afraid of. Alright. Let's do this again. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we should be good. Alright, three down, one to go. So we have the one with the green arc and the green beams below it. And then the one with the flower thing. And these two symbols. Okay. Green beans are pretty easy. Get the green arcway. Kind of went the wrong way there, but don't care. Just keep going. a flower and the two symbols. Voila, George once told me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. She's a regular master of unlocking. So I thought, this is it, you know? This is true love. Anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano, that creep. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Male bonding with TD Poco. Oh, heck. 
Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Any ideas? I'd watch a buddy comedy with George and T.D. I was hoping for something a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. Look, I need to light this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or flint and tinder or... Or just use your lighter. Or a cheesy novelty cigarette lighter, as it turned out. Well, there was nothing else to do around here, so I pulled the lever. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Ah! <laughs> Did it, Poco? Oh, my... Whoa! Great. I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still, I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. Charming. The statue looked like it doubled as an incense burner. Every time I think this place can't get any spookier, it does. Finally, I'm out of here. See, this door's open now. Once more, into the unknown. Onwards and downwards, Mr. Stobart. This was it. The Pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before in my life, I'd stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror. It all comes down to this.
That was it. We beat it. All right, so thanks for joining me. Honestly, I think I liked it overall a little better than the first one, just mostly for the beginning of the game and how most of the story stuck to the plot. You kind of had more of a straight line. Nice lyrics, huh? And I think the ending of the first one was better than the ending of this one. What? Happiness is an inside job? <laughs> I guess they wanted to do something about the conspiracy thing theme I don't know. but i think i like it a little better well neil breen is that the neil breen doing background layouts <laughs> these lyrics are weird happiness is an inside job if your name is mary or if your name is bob but only those two names. But yeah, I like that it kind of hinted at the supernatural stuff in the first one. Whereas this one, they just come out and be like, yeah. They made it full on Raiders of the Lost Ark ending. Where the evil spirit murders everyone that helped him come back into the world. Right. well there's been a few more of these so i might do another one at some point i will be doing something else on uh monday still really haven't decided or no saturday oh okay <laughs> guess it just showed that again all right and there's actually a little comic book thing that's uh kind of cool probably adds a little more to the backstory of the plot Maybe it's just the game. No, this is a pretty cool thing. Kind of cool, but seems a little like an afterthought. Could be part of just like the remastered edition that that's part of it. So yeah, thanks for joining me, and I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you next time.